you guys. I have the most game-changing hack of all game-changing hacks for styling a big bust. I went to the orientation and all of my friends thought I got implants because I rolled up to junior orientation, a double D. Hey guys, it's Jess. What's up and welcome back. I hope you're all having a wonderful day so far. Today, we're talking about how to style a big bust. Now, if you're new here to my channel, I'm a 32E. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing all of the things that I have learned for how to style a bigger bust, my basic like styling guide and then game changing hacks that I've learned along the way. Before we hop into my whole journey though, I want to share something that I wish I heard when I was younger, when I was learning to become comfortable in my own skin and something that I even need reminders of even now. So I just wanna share that you should never be embarrassed or ashamed or nobody should ever make you feel ashamed or embarrassed of having a bigger chest. And this is something I have dealt with my whole life of having a bigger chest where people are like, oh, you should you know, cover up, pull up your shirt. And especially coming from an Asian household, <laughs> I was really made to feel like you always have to cover up. You don't wanna be showing too much cleavage. You don't wanna do this. And you know, I felt really embarrassed and ashamed of my body for so, so long. And it's only become in the last couple of years that I've become more confident and been like, I shouldn't be ashamed or embarrassed of my body. This is my body and I'm going to style it and wear it how I want. And a bigger bust just innately makes things look a little bit more sexy and risque. And it just, it's hard to deal with that, especially when it comes to trying to figure out what to actually look for that works with your chest, depending on what you wanna go for. So I just wanted to share that because I want you guys to never feel embarrassed of your body or ashamed of your body, and you should never let anybody make you feel like that. So just wanted to share that. And I guess let's, let's hop into my whole big bus journey from here, it's a nice transition. So basically my journey with having a bigger chest starts the summer before my junior year. Now, before this, I had started getting a chest from middle school and I, I stopped at an A cup. And up until the summer before my junior year, I had an A cup and I was just, I stopped. And I was good with that. It was good. I was comfortable with it. I knew how to style it. All my friends in my friend group knew me as no chestica because I was so flat chested and I was cool with it. That was good. And then the second wave of puberty happened the summer before my junior year. And I went to junior orientation and I had gone that summer, in just the summer, from an A cup straight to a double D and by the end of my senior year, a triple D. Now I'm at an E, which is at some places it's like triple D slash E, so it kind of depends, but you guys, it was the worst thing ever because I had become so comfortable with my A cup and then all of a sudden I had, I had a chest and I didn't know what to do. I didn't know how to style it and I just felt so uncomfortable because I was like, what the heck? All of my friends thought I got implants because everybody knew what I looked like and then I rolled up to junior orientation with a big chest and everybody was like oh my gosh you got implants and I was like no I don't know what happened so it was a journey to really learn how to be comfortable and confident in it and relearn how to like style my body I genuinely understand both sides of the spectrum from having a flat chest and knowing how to style and work with that to having a big bust of now 32E. It was just such a crazy thing that very, uh, it was a very much juxtaposition. It was like boom to boom. Now I feel like I have such a good grip on looking at something and being like, that would work for me, that wouldn't, this would work with me if I could adjust this. I just wanted to share my story because one, it's really funny. Two, it can feel really isolating when you're like, well, everybody else is doing fine. Uh, what's wrong with me? There's nothing wrong with you. Everybody goes through so many of the same things, but then a lot of people don't ever talk about it, so you feel alone. So I just wanted to share this. So if you guys are going through this or went through this, I hope this story kind of just makes you feel less alone or at the very least made you laugh. Cool, now we're way closer. You know me, I don't really know you, but hey, anyways, let's talk about tips. So this section is kind of the 
ground rules, I think, for styling a bigger bust. So the first topic I wanna talk about is undergarments. Undergarments are the backbone, the most underrated, but the most important thing in anybody's wardrobe, especially if you have a bigger bust. This is what all the layers of clothing you're wearing are laying on top of. And if you don't have a good bra that fits, and this even goes for underwear too, but we're specifically talking about bras here. If you don't have a good bra that fits, you are going to have spillage, you're going to have gaping, you're going to have puckering. It is so crucial to find out what size you are and be properly fitted and like know your size and buy undergarments in those sizes. Sizing yourself at home is very, very easy. I'll include some links to stuff. You want something that fits nice, feels good, and is comfortable. If I'm not really like dressing up, my favorite types of bras to wear are either sports bras, balconette bras, or good quality, well-fitting bralettes. Now I am super picky about bralettes. I've only found one type of like style that works for me. I'll talk about it in the recommendation section at the end, but by the fabric not being as thick, it makes it so it's not like accentuating anything. It's just holding and supporting and it keeps everything in place in a very comfortable way, which I love. And another type of bra that you have to have regardless of your bust size, you gotta have a good t-shirt bra in either a black or a nude and a nude for your skin color because there's not just the one type of nude, there are so many different nudes for so many different skin tones. I've acquired a cat. You just wanna love on me. I wanna love you back. But I gotta film, I gotta work. How will I buy you snacks and food if you don't let me work? I work for you. And on this note of talking about bras and properly fitting things, I personally avoid buying any sort of uh, tops with built-in cups or bustier style tops because the cups that are built into these tops, unless they're designed by someone who specifically designs for bigger busts, I never fit in them. My boobs always fall out or fall under, they never stay in the cups. Essential rule number two is balance. Balance is genuinely key to all things style, but especially when you have a bigger bust. Now, when it comes to styling a bigger bust and having the balance with that, one of the most helpful and important things is showing a little bit of skin to help that balance. Now, this does not at all have to be risque. It can be as much skin or as little skin as you want, but showing some amount of skin really helps kind of balance out your bust. If you're wearing a tight fitting all the way up turtleneck with long sleeves, it almost always will give you a uniboob. That is my experience. So the way to find the balance with this is to either have shorter sleeves, show some arm, or to have like maybe a little keyhole cut out or to even have a looser fitting turtleneck. But it just has a nice bit of drape, a nice bit of uh, looser fitting fabric so it's not as tight on your bust. Lower necklines are absolutely key when it comes to styling a bigger bust. And again, this does not at all have to be risque. Like for example here, I'm showing some skin. However, if I were to have this all the way buttoned up, it doesn't balance me out right. It kind of overwhelms my frame a little bit. So by having just a little bit of like unbutton going on, it gives that really nice balance. You can go for a square neckline, a scoop neckline, a V-neck, even off the shoulder gives that nice amount of skin. One of my go-to tips for tops that always tent out or maybe are too tight around the bust is to size up. By sizing up, you get a little bit of extra fabric to work with. And this extra fabric makes a world of difference because it makes it so your top is not too tight across your bust. And then the chef's kiss with this is then you like front tuck it. You had a nice little tuck in the front and having the extra fabric allows you to be able to have the extra fabric to front tuck. And this just like seals everything in for that nice drape. And the third and final thing to know for the need to know tips of styling a big bust before we hop into our next section is talking about silhouettes. So silhouettes are basically how a piece drapes on your body. This kind of goes hand in hand with what I was just talking about with like things draping beautifully. How something fits can just be absolutely game changing. And everybody's fit is different for their body because everybody has different bodies and you just gotta work with what works for you. But silhouettes for a bigger bust, very important to pay attention to because Things that work typically really well are things with a more rectangular silhouette. Now, this is because it offers the structure to your body that, again, balances things out. So when I say a rectangular silhouette, I don't mean like you go out and buy like a box. Things don't have to be boxy to have a rectangular silhouette. Most things, a lot of things, have a more rectangular silhouette, like this top, kind of 
rectangular. It's just like, it hangs nicely, it drapes beautifully. And with this top in particular, I found this at a thrift store for a couple dollars. It almost has like a micro shoulder pad. It has a little bit of padding right here on the shoulder to have that extra bit of structure. And I love this because it kind of, again, gives a nice structure to my body. Anything with a more circular silhouette or a full structure or anything that's like ruffly. Those are the types of things that are really going to accentuate the bigger bust. It's going to really add to your bust looking bigger. It's going to make you look more full in the bust. And like, if you wanna go for that, like that's totally cool. My last little note with silhouette is one of like my go-to hacks, just kind of give you a bit of structure, throw on a piece of slightly oversized outerwear, whether it's a denim jacket or a moto jacket or a blazer or a trench coat, like whatever, throwing this on over top is going to get you that more structured silhouette and balance out your bust very nicely. Let's talk about how to downplay your bust. So this section is not for everybody, but if it's for you, then it's for you. So thing number one, my go-to way to downplay my bust when I just wanna be like super low key, I wear a sports bra with a nice kind of comfy fitting t-shirt. A sports bra keeps everything like nice and low key, nothing's accentuated, and then the t-shirt, is like the go-to casual, easy to wear thing. Now, sometimes you don't wanna wear a t-shirt. You wanna mix things up. A button-up blouse, whether it's a short sleeve or a long sleeve, short sleeve, a little bit more casual. I love those. But a long sleeve gets you that kind of like dressed up, that put together or chic look. And it really is that perfect balance because you can, you know, button it up as much as you want. But again, I would say like having that balance, showing a little bit of skin, keeping the first button unbuttoned, it gets you that more low key look, but it looks really flattering on a more busty chest. And if I want to make this a little bit more sexy, then I'll unbutton an extra button, or maybe I'll wear like a really cute bralette underneath or a really cute like lacy cami, and then wear it like super unbuttoned and you get like more cleavage. And it really kind of depends with like layering and how you style things to make things work for you and what you're confident with. A small but very useful tip when it comes to downplaying your bust is that black, the color black, just downplays your bust like no other. When I just wanna be very low key or go for a more modest look, I'll wear any sort of black top or black outerwear. My final major tip when it comes to downplaying or making your bust look a little bit more low key is any sort of layering. So my go-to way of layering is with some sort of like bodysuit or cami underneath the top. If it's cold outside, my go-to layering item is some sort of like longer sleeve piece. You can take a cami or a slip dress or anything that's a little bit more innately sexy layer a long sleeve underneath and you get that balance. So my first game changing hack is the most game changing of game changing hacks. I came up with this hack about two years ago and I shared it with you guys in a previous video and y'all were shook. So basically the hack is for if you're wearing any sort of button up top, if it has a bit more of a tight or taut fit across the bust, you're gonna notice that oftentimes you get the gaping between the buttons that fall across your bust. I have a hack that will solve this. What you're gonna do is you're gonna get one of these snappy clasps. And then between the buttons, you'll sew on the snappy clasp and one side goes on one side of the fabric and the other side of the snappy clasp goes on the other. And then when you're getting ready, you just snap those two together. It's almost as if you're adding an additional button and this is going to make it so there's no more gaping because now you have that support there. It's holding the fabric together where there is the most tension between the fabric and then no more gaping, no more weird puckering, no more like odd boob spillage from that section. It's just nice and supported and it's amazing. And it's so easy and so cheap. Another absolutely amazing thing to use is fashion tape. Fashion tape is just double-sided tape that sticks to clothes. And this is great for any time you have any sort of like moving fabric, fabric that just keeps falling or fabric that won't stay in place. Or even if you don't have the time to sew a snappy clasp, you just put it in that same spot it holds the fabric together. It's a great short-term solution. My next game-changing hack is to always, 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 always buy your swimwear in separates versus in a set. When you get in a set, if you order a size small because you're small in your body, 
oftentimes that also means the bust is going to be small. So it just is very fixed, which doesn't leave a lot of room for flexibility. And most people have varying body size. Just because you're larger in your body does not mean you're going to necessarily have a larger chest. Just because you're smaller in your body does not mean you're going to have a smaller chest. So by buying these separate, though it is always more expensive, it is so much more worth it in the long run because you're going to actually have pieces that fit. Most bodies don't fall within the industry standard of swimwear. And my last game changing hack for this section before we hop into recommendations and favorites is to lean into vintage styles vintage kind of silhouettes. A lot of the more vintage silhouettes, especially from like the 50s, really work so well for a bigger chest, a fuller chest, and kind of a curvier body. My two favorite places to get bras are Airy and Third Love. Now I really like Airy because they just are some of the most comfortable bras I have ever worn. And I actually have I have a couple sports bras from them, I have a couple bralettes from them, and I have a couple of regular bras from them. All of them, I absolutely love. They're comfortable, they fit well, they are very like flattering on my body, so like they actually just like fit nicely. And Airy is the only place, the only place I have ever found a bralette that fits me. I don't fit in bralettes, they just don't wanna stay. But in the ones that I have from Airy, they actually fit and they're very comfortable and they're nice and I love them. And then Third Love, any sort of more traditional style of bra, I love Third Love for it. So Third Love has half sizes, so it's very customizable to your body. They have all of the traditional styles, like they have strapless bras, they have t-shirt bras, they have plunge bras, they have like all sorts of different things. And they also have bras in nudes for different skin tones, which I love because not everybody is the basic band-aid nude shade for swimwear. Albion Fit, love them. Their swimwear fits very nicely on me and it's very comfortable. I feel very confident in it. And then other brands I've heard awesome things about that I have not gotten a chance to try yet, but I want to. I've heard they're great for bigger busts are Savage Fenty. I have heard absolutely wonderful things about them. I have them like next on my list to try out. I've heard amazing things about, I think it's just pronounced Cup. It's C-U-U-P. Heard awesome things about their bras. Monday swimwear, I've heard, again, wonderful things about their swimwear, very customizable, very inclusive, and Girlfriend Collective. I think that is one of the most popular brands for activewear out there. They're very inclusive, they are very, um, comfortable, they are great quality. And if you guys have any recommendations for other brands, please share all of your experiences and recommendations down in the comment section. And I think that wraps up today's video. So thank you guys so much for watching this Big Bus Tips video. For today's quote of the day, I fell in love with this quote. It is from Brene Brown. And I think it's a beautiful quote that I think we all gotta keep in our hearts and in our minds. And it says, sometimes the bravest and most important thing you can do is just show up. Showing up is like more than half the battle. Just showing up and being there, whether it's for yourself, for someone else, or just like for something that you're just like, I don't know if I can do it. Showing up, it means so much. I hope you all have an absolutely wonderful rest of your day. If you wanna keep up with me throughout the week, you guys can follow me at Jessica Neistat on Instagram. I love you all lots. I think there's Filipino food waiting for me downstairs, which I'm so excited about. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.